Welcome, everyone, to the uh, Bob and John Sports Hour. No Mr. Sharp and no Mr. Andre. This is something I want to talk about. And uh, we know who I'm talking about. It's that guy right there. He just can't seem to keep his mouth closed. Um, all well and good. Freedom of speech. Let's be honest. We do live in America, LeBron. So you do have that right to speak up. But uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, LeBron, uh, take some time. Uh, to sit down, educate yourself, uh, get some ta- get some bullet points on the subject that you're about to talk to about, and uh, uh, before you open that trap of yours, LeBron, uh, you know this theory where I'm an athlete, I'm a superstar, I'm a big time celebrity, I'm a billionaire, whatever. Uh, thinking that they can just kind of walk around, say what they want, and uh, people got to listen to it, you know, and. Um, I think LeBron is one of those guys. I, I, I honestly, God, believe that LeBron, uh, when he gets up in the morning and he, uh, we don't have a newspaper anymore. I was going to say newspaper, but obviously we don't have. When he grabs his, uh, uh, his tablet and he starts going through the news, I feel like LeBron gets upset if he doesn't see his name in there. I mean, that's what I feel like. Uh, he, you know, that he, every morning gets up and grabs his tablet and looks through the news feed and he doesn't see his name on it and he just oh he gets all pissed off and then he goes out and says something or does something and then of course a few days go by and he has to retract what he said and that's the situation he's in right now i mean this is uh, lebron uh not educating himself on the topic not uh, getting the information he needs to speak freely about what he's sa- what he's talking about and uh, that's that's what he got himself in, and of course he got himself in the, in the news feed, which I think he enjoys. I think he enjoys it, uh, you know. Like I said, getting up and seeing his name somewhere, anywhere, whether it's a sports article or whether it's a Entertainment Tonight, it seems like he's that guy. So you're asking yourself, maybe you haven't seen it, but you're asking yourself, what did LeBron do this time? Well, let me let me enlighten you. In a trailer for his latest episode of his HBO show, The Shop, LeBron James says if he were in Brittany Griner's situation, he would have doubts about wanting to return to the U.S. after being a detainee in Russia. And I'll read you the quote. It says, over 110 days. Now, how could she feel like America has her back, James said. I would be feeling like, do I even want to go back to America? Yeah, I mean, why would she want to go back, LeBron? I mean, I'm sure she's in a five-star prison there in Russia. I'm sure she's eating caviar every day, uh, drinking champagne, uh, you know, just lavish lifestyle there in Russian prison. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Yeah, right, LeBron. Uh, Again, uh, this is someone that is... uh, not educating himself on what he's talking about. Uh, no bullet points. Uh, I think he's looking to get himself in the news feed, stay relevant. You know, like I said, I really do, honest to God, believe that this man, this individual right here, LeBron James, is not happy if he is not in the news feed at least a couple times a week. He has to find ways to stay relevant and. It's sad because he is LeBron James. He is an amazing, amazing basketball player on the court. He shouldn't have to do these crazy things. And I think he should realize, yes, he has a great following on social media. And he should think before he speaks because he is influencing a lot of people, not just this country, but all over the world, are reading his tweets and his quotes and You know, it's just like you sending this message out there of, you know, uh, stupid Americans. And and now I'm going to say it. That's what the message you're sending uh, to people outside this country and to some individuals here. Obviously, you had gotten some backlash from what you said. And, of course, a few days later, you're trying to retract it and or trying to explain to you explain yourself to everyone out there and and this is his uh, explanation uh, on tuesday night james responded with a, a clarification saying he wasn't knocking our beautiful country his focus james says was on grinders must be feeling after she has been detained for over 100 days in a foreign country long story short uh, james concluded by saying hashtag bring her home oh no shit uh, bring her home bring her home Get your story straight. This woman has been, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, 
defending her actions in any way. But this is someone that has been going to Russia for over seven years. This is someone that knows the rules and regulations of Russia. This wasn't her first trip into Russia. So she knows what she can and cannot bring. Uh, maybe she got lucky the last seven years and never gotten caught with it. But this time she did get caught with it. Obviously, she realized that uh, she cannot plead not guilty. She knows it was in her bag. She pleaded guilty. And, and now she's in a situation in a foreign country. One, of course, which is Russia, which is like the last place you want to go as an American or any other country and break the law there. You just don't do that in Russia. And this is the situation she's in. She broke the law. She knew the rules. She knew what she was doing. Obviously, uh, she's been there many times to understand that that substance is not allowed in Russia. So LeBron, I, I get it. You want to be relevant. You want to be out there. You want to be part of the news cycle. Great for you. But hey, buddy, uh, take some time. Think about what you what you say. Otherwise, keep your mouth shut and stop bucking uh, I'm not going to go there. Stop being, stop breaking this country down and separating us and making it about black and white. This situation has nothing to do with black and white. This is a situation of someone breaking the law in a foreign country. And it doesn't matter. Obviously, it doesn't matter what color you are in Russia. They take all of us. You, it, that American tag, hashtag American in, in Russia isn't going to buy you any freedom. Sorry, buddy. So next time you speak, please take some time. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. And uh, remember, you are you have a huge following. These people are following you. Think about that. Before you sit down and you do something on social media, dude, maybe write it down on a piece of paper, hand it to somebody to read, and then do it. Because keep in mind, you do influence a lot of people out there. You have a large following. You have a voice. And you got to use that voice responsibly. All right, man, I'm out of here. And everybody have a great day, man. You too, LeBron. Have a great day, buddy, in our free country. And